on the answer sheet, which I've put over here, it says sketch the graph of sin x plus 2 and 2 cos x on the same system of axes from 0 up to 360. Um, and then, okay, use the sketch graphs to answer the following. Okay, so let's go sketch. Now, when you sketch, you just use your calculator. All right, so here we have it. So you're going to put your calculator into a... Uh, into the what do we call it the table mode so whatever that is for yours you just say mode and then choose the number that gives you table mode now you're just going to go type in the two equations so the first one is sin now to get x you press alpha and then you press this right bracket okay and that's got an x and then you say plus two just like we see up at the top of the screen then we say uh, next now g of x is going to be two cos x like that press equals. Okay, now your starting position, that's very interesting. Your starting position is whatever this number is. Your ending position is whatever this number is. So for the start, we will say zero. For the ending position, we'll say 360. And then your step. Well, for a sin and cos graph in grade 10, we will use a step of 90. Okay, and so you press equals. And there's all the values. You see, so they give you all of the x values, 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. You see how they're going up by 90? That's your step. And then they give you the y values. So that's the y value for the graph of f, and that's the y value for the graph of g. So let's go, I'm going to quickly go write all these values down. All right, so let's go put our x values. So our x values are 90, so this is 90, 180, 270, 270, and 360. Okay, so I'm going to start with the graph of f. So when x is 0, its y value is 2. So when x is 0, its y value is 2. So let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay. Then when x is 90, its y value is 3. So when x is 90, its y value is 3. When x is 180, its y value is 2. When x is 270, the y value is 1. And then when x is 360, the y value is 2. There we go draw the curve. Okay, so that would be the graph of f. Now we can do graph g. So when the x value, remember this is your x, when the x value is 0, then the y value of g is 2. So that would also start over there. And then when the x value is 90, the y value is 0. So that would be there. And then when the x value is 180, the y value is minus 2. And then 270 and 0. And then 360 and 2. Okay, let's draw it. So that is sort of, it's not the best looking drawing, but that's what graph G would look like, okay, graph G. Now, this question says, um, write down the range of G. So the range, and I just wanted to add the marker location over there. Okay, so the range is the Y values. So you could either write it like this, you could say Y is an element. Now the, the graph of G goes from minus two, so you start with the lowest value first, and then it goes up to positive two like that, okay? If you prefer set builder notation, you could say that y is bigger than or equal to minus two and smaller than or equal to positive two. This one says, for which value of x will f decrease? Now, what does decrease mean? Well, it means going, when you're starting from left and you move towards the right-hand side, when is the graph going downhill? So if we move, if we start here, okay? Here we see this red graph is going uphill over here. So, so imagine you're driving a car, so here's your car, and you're going uphill, uphill, suddenly you start going downhill up to that point. So from here to here, you are going downhill, okay? So that is what we, we, we mean when we say decrease. So you could say, uh, you could either use interval notations, so you could say when x goes from 90, but now we're not going to include the 90. I'll explain why now, just give me a moment, I'm just going to write this down and then all the way up to 270. We're not gonna include it. If you wanted to use set border notation, you would say x is bigger than 90, but smaller than 270. So why don't we include the 90 and the 270? Well, at the 90, what is the graph doing? Is it going up, down, or is it not doing any of those? Well, at the 90 itself, it's busy turning, so it's, it's completely flat. It's, um, it's not, increasing and it's not decreasing. So you see that is why we don't include the 90 because they said where is the graph decreasing and it's not decreasing at 90 but it starts there. So we're just saying that that's the starting position and then the same at 270. Okay so we'll use a round bracket over there. 